Hello, welcome to a new new power flow with, with yours truly, Dan, uh, here, 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 here at Shangri-La Hot Yoga. Um, what you're gonna need though for this practice is at least one block. So if you don't have a block, I'm pretty sure you have a roll of toilet paper. So that'll also work. Apparently that's like the, the currency for this thing. So yeah, either a roll of toilet paper or, or, or a block. If you have two blocks, great. Um, so, so actually this, this, it's gonna be the same flow, but. It, but my but my, 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 uh, my intention for this flow is 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 to work on your drishti, on your focal point. So yeah, just have a block handy. Um, I'll kind of talk through it and everything. But yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Let's begin in child's pose. And you can just set the block out out in front of your mat there. And go ahead and sink on down. Take your hips to your heels, and then reach forward with your fingers. Sink your forehead all the way down to your mat. Settling down, start to get integrated into your body. Noticing any sensations you have. Notice your thoughts. Now take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. One more time, deep breath. Full exhale. Now seal your lips, breathe in and out through your nose as we start to cultivate our, our, our breath of victory, our ujjayi. Breathe in, exhale through the nose, one more time, inhale, exhale it out, downward facing dog. Now grab your block, place it between your thighs. Now you can take it to whatever, whatever width you want, you want the skinny middle or the long, but yeah, place, place it between your thighs and then look back between your feet. Downward facing dog, four points of contact, so spread your fingers nice and wide. And then press each fingertip down, press your palms down as well, and press the mat away from you as you press your chest to your thighs. Now press your heels down towards your mat, have a soft bend in the back of your knees. Pull your belly up and in as you press your tailbone to the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, inhale, take the block, take it to the top of your mat, Exhale, travel forward. Ragdoll. So keep the block right, right underneath your face. And then with ragdoll, you can either grab opposite elbows, do a ragdoll or forward fold. You can take your hands down to the block or down to the mat. Let go of your neck, take top side to side. Take your hands to your block. Halfway lifts, a nice flat spine, roll your shoulders back, crown your head reaches to the front of your mat. Forward fold, exhale back down, place the hand between your, in your or place, place the block between your hands, soften your knees, extend and mount, reach up, look up, and then forward fold, exhale back down, looking at your block the whole time, your focal point, your drishti. Now keep the block right, right underneath your chest, halfway lift, high to low plank, keep the block there. Roll forward, upward facing dog, shoulders roll back, chest presses forward, the tops of your feet press down, active quads, downward facing dog, take a block, place, place between your thighs. Three inhales and exhales, breathe in, breathe out, two more times, inhale, exhale, again, inhale, place the block at the top of your mat, exhale, look forward, travel, step or jump, Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, exhale, block between your hands, extended now, look up, reach up, forward fold, nice controlled descent. Halfway lift, breath in, block, block underneath your chest, down, or chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, again, take the block, place it between your thighs. Breathe in, let it out, Three more times, inhale, exhale, two more, breath in, place the block at the top of your mat, exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump, halfway lift, fold, hands, or block, block in the hands, extended mountain, reach up, forward fold, exhale, words are hard sometimes. Halfway lift, take a breath, high to low plank, 
Up dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog. And, and again, take the block, place it between your thighs. Now, squeeze your thighs together. Breathe in. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Again, on the breath in, block at the top of your mat. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, travel. Halfway lift. Forward fold, place a block between your palms. Chair pose. Yeah, now roll your shoulders back, squeeze the block. Yeah, and actually take it up to eye level and just stare at your block. You can take it to whatever, whatever width you want. But yeah, squeeze the block, roll your shoulders down. Good, and then pull your belly into your lower back. Breathe in, breathe out. Three more times, inhale. Squeeze that block, exhale. Squeeze your legs together, inhale. Let it go. Last breath in. Forward fold. Place the block underneath your chest. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot to your right hand. To your, to your right hand. Warrior one. Take the block between your hands. Yeah, and then reach up with the block. Look up as well. Now press your right foot down. The knife edge of your left foot presses down as well. Good, so reach up, roll your shoulders down your upper back. Yeah, continue to look up, breathe in. Sink a little lower. Two more cycles, breath in, breath out. Fill up with oxygen. Good, exhale, hands down underneath your chest. Put block down between your chest. Low plank, up dog, downward facing dog, left foot, warrior one. Again, take the block, squeeze between your palms, Reach up and then square your hips. Continue to ground down to your feet, intentional grounding down. Breathe in, let the breath go. We got three more cycles here. Yeah, the one's accessible for you here. Two more. Last breath, block down beneath your chest. Low plank, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take the block between your thighs. Good. Active rest pose. Breathe in. Three more times. Inhale. Two. Place the block at the top of your mat. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Travel. Halfway lift. Fold, hands, hands a block, chair pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot, warrior one, grab the block. One breath here, inhale, reach. Hands back down, block, back, back down as well, low plank. Upward dog. Downward dog, left foot, rear of hadrasana one, same thing, hands to block, reach up, one breath, back down, low plank, place the block down beneath your chest, roll forward up, press back down, block between the thighs. We'll do that one more time, breath in, and then can you come back to stillness? And then can you drop what you must? Is there something that's holding you back here? Place the block at the top of your mat. Bend your knees, look forward. Step, jump, float. Halfway. Fold, looking at the block. Hands to block, chair, breathe. Fold, exhale. Halfway. High to low plank. Again, block underneath your chest. Upward dog, downward facing dog, right foot, pull your one, step, grab the block, inhale, reach, low plank, hands back down, block back down, upward facing dog, downward 
facing dog, left foot, warrior one. Again, hands to block, ground down, inhale, reach to the ceiling, low plank, hand block, block down, hands down, upward facing, downward facing. Now keep the block there at the, at the top of your mat, raise your right leg to the ceiling, now take your right knee and touch, touch your right elbow. Now take it to your right wrist. Take it up to your left wrist, left elbow. Now bring it into center, three point dog. Flip your dog, take the block, right hand grabs the block. Good, flip dog, reach forward with the right hand with the block. Squeeze your legs together. Press down through both feet. Left palm presses up or presses down. Yeah, now press everything else up as you energetically reach forward. Stay here for three. Look at the block. There's your drishti. Nothing else matters. Two. Last breath. Come back over to high plank. Place the block down. Right palm comes down. Side plank on the right. So left hand grabs block. Yeah, and then look up as you reach up with the block. If you feel like spicy, you can fold your top leg. Stay here for three. Press the hips up. Two. Last breath in. Good, hands, or the block comes down underneath your chest, flow through, vinyasa. Good, left leg rises. Ready, left elbow, left wrist, right wrist, right elbow, center. Squeeze, 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 kick back in the three-point dog, flip on over, right palm grounds down, left hand grabs block, flip dog, or, 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 a, or wild thing here. Yeah, and then reach forward with the left hand. Pull your left shoulder into your upper back. Good, stay here for three. Maybe you want to play with wheel or, to, or, or tap here. Two. Last breath. Flip back over. And then change the block to the other hand, to right hand side plank. Yeah, right, right hand goes up. Block goes up. Yeah, maybe you're feeling spicy. Pull your toes to your shin. Activate your quads. And press up. So you have three. Look at your block. Two. Last breath. Good. Block comes down underneath your chest. Vinyasa through. High crescent lunge. Right foot forward. Grab your block. Place it. Place place, place it between your palms. Yeah. And so I would suggest maybe taking it to the skinny height. Good. Squeeze the block. Left heel presses back. Right foot presses down to squeeze your outer shins in. Breathe in, and then twist to the right. So left elbow, right knee, continue to squeeze your block between your palms. Now pull your right, your right deltoid into your upper back. Try looking up, same for two. Keep twisting, last breath. Twist on the exhale, open up into warrior two. Right hand to block, look forward. Yeah, look at your feet, adjust as needed. Extend it side, and reach forward, and then if you have some options here, you can keep your right hand down to the block, or, or if you want to, you can take your left hand, grab the block, reach up, look up. Stay here for three. Breathe. Last breath. Block comes down between chest. Vinyasa through. Left foot steps forward, high crescent lunge. Again, block between the palms, squeeze. Elbows, elbows flare out. Inhale, twist the other direction. Again, continue to, to look at your block. There's your drishti. That single point of focus, that discipline of the pose. Keep twisting. Two more. Last one. Warrior two, left hand to block. Reach forward, look forward. Extended side angle. Again, block and come down. You can take your left hand to the block. You can reach up or you, or, or you can switch. Yeah, but look at the block though, whatever you choose. Stay here for three. Stay here for two. Last breath. 
Good, block comes down, vinyasa through. Take a breath in, open your mouth, let it out. Let's do that again, breath in, side out. Good, reseal, inhale. Exhale, look forward, step, jump, float. Halfway, fold, grab the block, share, prayer twist to the right. So again, left elbow, right knee. Yeah, but, but ensure that your heart is above your butt. Yeah, so sink the honey lower and then open up the chest. Stay here for three, two, one more. Stay in chair, come back to center, squeeze that block. We go the opposite direction. Right elbow, left knee, squeeze your legs together. Left elbow points to ceiling. Yeah, maybe even try taking your drishti up. Two more. Deepest, forward fold. Go ahead and release your block down underneath your face. And then take your, take your feet about two fists width. Peace fingers grab on your big toes. Big toes come down firmly, there's your anchor. Halfway lift, and then with that anchor, pull yourself down, looking back between your legs. Release your head. Maybe you tell yourself yes. Maybe you tell yourself no. Maybe make some circles. But keep pulling your torso down as you press your butt to the ceiling. Good, release your peace fingers, but take your toes off the mat. Slide your palms underneath, gorilla pose. And then same thing, but this time lean a little bit more forward so there's a little, little less weight in the heel of your feet. Pull your torso down, again, press your tailbone up, look back between your legs. You're ready right now. This, this pose is all you have, you're ready. Release your palms, now take the block, place it between your feet. Good. Crow pose, with the block between your feet. Yes, we'll block up, stay here for three, two. Now, can you go to high plank with the block between your feet? And then flow through. Good, take the block, place it at the top of your mat. Rise up on your toes, pigeon knees, look forward, travel. Halfway, fold, grab the block, extended mountain. Yeah, and then eagle on the right. So go ahead and come down, block, block in front of your face, sit low in the squat, take your right leg, wrap it around your left thigh. Yeah, but just look at that block. Yeah, maybe, maybe take a wider. Pressure right into the back of your or up of your mat. Not every pose is perfect, or so it doesn't really exist anyway. Good switch. So only your legs switch. Keep the block right there. Look at that block. Yeah, maybe it has some writing on it. You look at the writing. Maybe decoration on it. You look at that. Stay with your breath. Sink a little lower. Squeeze in. Good, keep the block in your left hand. Right knee comes up. Yeah, either hand and knee or piece of fingers to your big toe. Open out and then take that left, left arm out as well. Yeah, and then again, look at your block. That's all you can see, that's all you concentrate on is that single block. Everything else falls away. Your worries, your concerns. Bring it back to center, hands or block between hands, kick it back in the airplane. Press your right hip down towards your mat, pull your right toes into your right, towards your right shin. And again, pin your deltoids to your upper back. Left hand comes down, half moon. So now you have some options here. You can, and if you have a second block too, you can try this as well. 
So you need to keep your left hand down to the block looking down. Or if you want, you can also try to take your left hand. If you have a second block, take it there or fingertips to mat. Right hand with the block reaches up and see if you can look up at your block. Stay here for three. Woo! Two, the earth spinning too quickly, so I'm gonna hit the brakes. Step forward, rise. Good, and then standing leg raise on the left, so hand, or block, block in your right hand. Left hand, left knee, piece fingers to your big toe. Yeah, open out, take the right hand out with the block. Yeah, then just stare at your block, be muggy. Stay here for two. Last one. Good, bring your knee back to center, block to center, hand, block, block between the hands, kick back in the airplane. Yeah, look at your Gaim, look at your Manduka, or whatever other writing you might have on your block. Or, or if you're like me, you have like a lot of fingernail grips into it. Half moon, again, right hand coming down the block, left hand reaches up, open up the shoulders, stack your hips, energetic raised leg, yeah, or if you want to try to switch them up, Right hand can stay down, left hand to block. Yeah, try looking up. Yeah, nice job, Melissa. Stay here for three, two, last one. Oh, step forward, rise up, block in your left hand, dancer on the right. So right hand reaches back, grab the, the inside of your right ankle, grab down to your left foot. Good, chest open, opens up, reach forward, and then hinge forward. Keep your right foot to the ceiling. And then again, look at your block. Keep pressing down to the left foot. You can see I'm uneasy because I'm not, I'm not grounding down. And when I ground down, I get stable. Switch. Again, look at your block. Left hand reaches back. Kick. Stay here for three. Two, one. <laughs> Tree pose on the right. So hands, hands, hands on the block. Good. Right, right, your right foot comes up. Switch. Find that balance. Some, some days are easier than others. That's right though, let's jump off the hook. Stay here for three, two, one. Extend that mountain, reach up, look up. Fold, exhale. Let go of the block, halfway lift. High to low plank, upward facing. Downward facing, right foot, warrior one. Grab the block, warrior one. Open up into warrior two. Extend your straight, or, or your front leg straight. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Now you can place block in front of and back of your front foot, but ground out onto that left hand reaches up. Yeah, so like for this one here, the hand can stay down on the block. Left hand reaches up, it's all right, look at your fingers. Or if you have a second block, you can grab that and look at that as well. Ground down to your feet, squeeze your, excuse me, squeeze your heels towards each other. <clears throat> One more breath. Press to your feet, rise to stand, right toes turn, forward fold, take the block between your feet. Side facing wide leg forward, pull, pull your toes in, so slight pigeon toe of your feet, ground down to the outsides of your feet to activate your legs, or excuse me, your, your muscles. Yeah, so from skin to muscle to bones, we hug in, and then that gains you that access for a full expression out. Ground down through your feet, grab the block, rise up, 
Turn towards the front of your mat. Back, your, your back foot, your left foot will step into your right and step out to the left side of your mat. And then forward fold. Pyramid pose, or, or namaste in front, in front facing forward fold. Hands can come down to the block. But ground down to your right foot to press your right hip backwards. And then do the same thing with your left foot. Ground down to your left foot to, and to press your left hip forwards. It's action of squaring. Stay active in your legs, stay active in your feet. Left hand grounds down the block or mat. Right hand reaches to the ceiling. Revolve triangle, twist the triangle. Now pull your, your top shoulder, your right shoulder into your upper back as you, as you rotate your bottom chest muscle to the ceiling. Squeeze everything into center. Stay here for three, two, full as expression. Good, right hand comes down. Maybe, maybe you try to keep your left hand on the block as you flow through. Left foot forward, warrior one. Again, grab the block, rise up. Open up into warrior two. Lengthen out your front leg. Reach forward, come into triangle pose. Again, block, block and come down to the inside or the outside of that front foot. Yeah, maybe the side feels different, that's all right. And then interject to reach up with the right hand just as much as you want to jump down onto that left hand. So reach up, press the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. One long line of energy from crown of the head all the way to that right foot. Again, rise up, left toes turn to the side of your mat, forward fold. Stay here for three. Yogi's choice. Two more. Last breath. Ground out to your feet. Engage your core. Come on up. Toes turn, turn to the front of your mat. Right foot steps to the right and steps forward. Good. Left foot presses to the back of your mat. Fold forward. Not mistake, front or front facing forward fold, aka pyramid. Remember the action of squaring hips, but ground down through your feet. Draw into your center, draw into your core, yeah, and then take your chin to your shin. Stay active in your feet. Right, right hand grounds down, left hand reaches to the ceiling, twisted triangle. Yeah, and then same thing, bottom, bottom chest muscle, turns to the ceiling and as you as you pull your top shoulder muscle into your upper back stay here for three two fullest expression what do you have good left hand comes down come all the way down to your to your mat take the block place it at the top of your mat or in front of your mat locust pose hands by your sides rise up look at your at your block <clears throat> Good. Squeeze it into your shoulders. Come on down. Locus number two. Rise up. Yeah, yeah, and then go to that same edge you just left off at. And then see if you can come up a half inch higher. Yeah, roll into your core. Day for two. One more. Come on down. Bend your knees. Reach back. Grab the outside of your ankles. Pull your toes to your shins. <clears throat> Four bow, kick and rise. Shoulders pressed together. Thighs pressed down towards your mat. Stay for three. Two. Last one. Good, come on down. Woo, hands underneath you. Rise up and up for facing dog. Come on to your knees. <clears throat> And then grab the block, place it between your thighs. Camel pose. Yeah, hands in your back pocket. <clears throat> Press your hips forward, and but keep them stacked over your knees. <clears throat> Press your chest to the ceiling, roll back.
Good, come on down. Swing your legs out in front of you, bridge pose. Place the block between your thighs. Pull your heels in closer, maybe you can touch with your fingertips. Ground down to your feet, again, squeeze into center, press up. Okay. Inlace your fingers in back of you, underneath you. Roll your shoulders in. Press your chest a little higher, but keep squeezing that block, don't let it drop. And then raise your ten toes off the mat and spread them. Stay for two. One. Good, come on down, draw your knees into you, give yourself a hug. <clears throat> now place your block or your roll of toilet paper next to your head or in, in back of your head. Wheel pose. Good, feet come down, palms come down, elbows point to ceiling, press down through your feet, press out through your palms, press up, look at your block. Stay up to three. Two, one, come down, quick breath, let it out, and press back up. Three, <clears throat> two, one, come on down. Two more to go, just two more, you got it. And then press back up. Five, four, press your chest backwards. Three, two, one, come down. Last one, this is all you have. You ready? Go for it, press up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one. Tuck the chin, come on down. Recline bound angle, supta bhakkanasa, the soles your feet together, let your knees fall out. By the way, great job, all. Fantastic work. <clears throat> Happy baby pose. Reach up, grab. Hey, you grab on your knees, outside of your legs, your ankles, outside of your feet. But draw your tailbone down. Draw your shoulders down. And then you take talk side to side. Extend the leg, draw a knee in. Now grab your block, place it between your hands, legs straight to ceiling, lower your right leg down 45 degrees, and then take your block and you're gonna, you're gonna toe tap your left toes for kind of 10. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Both legs up at 90. Block reaches up as well. Lower your legs down one third of the way. Look at your block. Lower your legs down another third. <clears throat> now, hover your feet and then take the block in back of you. Now, raise your head, look at your toes. Stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, everything up to 90. Come up, come up in a high boat. Again, squeeze the block between your palms. You can have bent knees, you can have extended legs. Yeah, squeeze the block, look at it, and then take it forward. Now take it up, look up as well, look at your block, follow, follow the block, back down, draw it in, forward, up, and then hold it for five, four, three, two, and a half, one, draw it in, woo! Rock north and south on your mat, set the block in front of your mat, downward facing dog, half pigeon on the right. Half pigeon on the right, take your right knee to your right wrist, pull your, pull your, pull your right toes forward a little bit. I prefer to keep my heel at about my left hip point. Yeah, then again, take the block in front of you, Create space, so extend through the, the crown of your head of your spine. 
breathe in, and then either choose to stay up, or if you want, you can hinge forward. And you got the block right there. You can take it underneath your forehead, take it underneath you. Your block has been there for your whole practice, supporting you, encouraging you. Stay with your breath. Calm inhales and exhales. If you're like me, kind of sweating. Yeah. Use, use your breath to calm everything down. Switch your sides. I'm going to give your right hip, right leg, anything it needs as you transition. <clears throat> Again, get intentional with your, with your movements. Never be afraid to look around at your body. And then you choose to stay up. You want to hinge forward, you can hinge. Press your left hip down towards your mat. And then do the same thing too with your right hip. Press it down. Really, really easy to check out here. But having an intentional breath it keeps bringing you back to center. It's a new opportunity for reset. Good. Press yourself up. Roll over onto your left hip. Swing your right leg out in front of you. Double pigeon right. So stack, stack your shins on top of each other. Ground down through both hips. If you have space here, again, block. Ground up onto the block. Chandra. Hello, David. Hello, Lauren. And switch your sides. And take your left hand to your to your to your left hip and press it down. I've noticed that that with me in this pose that sometimes that whatever what whatever, whatever knee is raised, that that hip comes comes lighter. So so 
sometimes have to press down and ground down a little bit more. Well, I'm happy that you needed this too, Carenza. I would say that we all need this. Come on up, frog pose. So turn to the side of your mat. Take your knees out as wide as you can. Now, now if you have a block, place up on, 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 underneath your torso. <clears throat> Again, take your knees out as wide as you can, and then align your hips with your knees, then align your knees with your ankles, and then your ankles with your toes. So yeah, we have a bunch of 90, 90 degree angles going on. And once you're there, you can start hinging down, coming down. I like to take my block underneath my torso so I can rest on that. If you're working hard here, try, try working easy. See how that works for you. Yeah, if you find yourself struggling in this pose, Try, try something easier. So maybe it's your breath. Maybe it's coming a little higher. Stay for five. Three more. out of the pose, you can bring your heels into you, or you can, you can flop forward, but press yourself up, and then sit back on your mat, extend your right leg forward, pull your left foot into your right inner thigh, adjust your cis bones, create space, inhale, reach up, leaning again to with your chest and chin, exhale, forward fold. <clears throat> And then if you have space, you can grab your block, place it at the bottom of your foot, of your right foot. And I love how there's about a, know, about a 60 second delay. Good, switch your sides out. Left foot extends out, pull your right foot into your left hand thigh, left toes to your shin, inhale, reach up, again, create space in your spine, fold forward. Front of you, seated forward fold. Adjust your fleshy portions. Inhale, reach. Fold, exhale. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get to your toes. Engage your core, come on up. Take the block, place it between your thighs. Reverse tabletop.
Go ahead, press out through your feet, press out through your hands, shoulders roll in, press your chest up, squeeze that block. And slowly come on down. Fish pose. If you have a block, you can take this to support and fish. I'll let, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let that get to the hot dog side. And then this back corner here comes to the base of your neck so that it supports right there and then allows you to roll the back of your head against the back side. Shoulders roll back, let those things go. Stay for three more. Last breath. Okay, come off the block. Take it underneath your hips to the flat side or the lowest side. Legs up a wall, waterfall. Legs up to ceiling, pull your toes to your shins. Now, if you still have more in the tank, you want a, a different version, yeah, there's options there. You can take it to a tripod headstand, support a headstand, all those stands. I mean, you want to try for handstand, by all means, do that thing. Or as I call them, dance stands. If you're in shoulder stand, if you want plow and deaf yogis, those are there for you as well. Slowly start coming down. And then keep the block to the right side of you. Draw your left knee in, and but extend your right leg straight. Squeeze it into your ribs, pull your toes to your shins, both sides. And then take your left knee out to your left armpit. Draw it up, squeeze, and supine twist your left knee across your body. Left shoulder grounds down first, and then your block is there for you to ground down onto. Long draw your right knee in. Yeah, give it a good squeeze into your ribs. Dorsiflexing both feet. And then draw it out to your armpit again. Pull up. Guide your right knee across your body. Supine twist. Remember, shoulder comes down first. And then adjust the height of the block to where you need it. back to center. Hug both your knees in. Supta Baddha Konasana, just slowly your feet together. If you have a block or two, you can place them underneath your knees too. Take your left hand to your heart, take your right hand to your belly. And then drop in. Drop in toward to how your body feels your emotions, your thoughts. 
just noticing those things. Savasana, the pose that we all waited for. And let everything go. Let your, let your toes go, let them naturally fall out. Take up all the space you want. Notice the sounds around you. Notice the, the sensations on your skin and your body. Introducing small movements, little wiggles of your fingers and your toes. Maybe taking your thumb, touching each fingertip. Rolling your wrist and your ankles around. And then roll over to your right side, coming to a fetal pose on your right. And you draw your knees into you, taking your chest towards your knees. Just stopping for a moment. Stopping for a moment to Acknowledge the work you've done. Acknowledging that time that you took for yourself. Come on up into an easy seated. However you choose to get there. Bring your palms together, your thumbs at your heart center. Keep your eyes open or closed. Everybody take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. We bow to each other together. We all say namaste. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you for practicing with me. I saw you on Facebook. Um, so yeah, great, great job. I hope you had fun. I'm kind of interested to hear your thoughts on the block. Uh, it's something different, but it's, it's still the same flow. Uh, look for our stories on, on, a, on a Shangri Law, both our stories and our posts for Instagram and Facebook for the next class. Have a great Tuesday. Thank you all. Love you.